Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for today's devotional. You know, I'm loving this series that we're in, Soul Care. I mean, how many of you know it is so important to take care of your soul? I mean, it is imperative for us as Christians to be in tune with the condition of our soul, know what it needs, and know how to take care of it. And to start our conversation today, let me ask you this one question. Have you ever been at a breaking point? Have you ever been ready to throw in the towel, to call it quits? Today we're gonna talk about the prophet Elijah and how he turned to God in a dark season of life and more importantly, how God responded. Just to give you some context before we get into today's passage, here we see Elijah fleeing from a woman named Jezebel who wants to kill him. But the interesting thing about this is that right before this incident, he had just witnessed God do an amazing miracle. And in a matter of moments, here he is and he's fleeing for his life. So let's pick up in 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 4 through 6. Remember, he's on the run. So let's read. Then he went on alone into the wilderness, traveling all day. He sat down under a solitary broom tree and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life, for I am no better than my ancestors who have already died. Then he lay down and slept under the broom tree. But as he was sleeping, an angel touched him and told him, Get up and eat. He looked around, and there beside his head was some bread baked on hot stones and a jar of water. So he ate and drank and lay down again. It's so interesting to me how Elijah has this like mountaintop moment with God. And then all of a sudden, here he is, and he is in the middle of a valley. He is literally fleeing for his life. But isn't that a picture of how life can be sometimes for you and me? That one day we could be on the mountaintop. There's a victory in our life. You know, God has done something amazing and there's a breakthrough. And, and the next day you might find yourself in the valley where there's, you know, just a tough situation that you're walking through or an unexpected uh, doctor's report or just, just the up and down of life. Isn't that how life goes? But what I love about this story is that at Elijah's breaking point, he cries out to God. And God was faithful to give him exactly what he needed. Now, notice it didn't say that God gave him what he wanted. Because what he wanted was for God to end it all. He was done. He was over with. But what God did instead was remarkable. He provided for him and he gave him everything he needed. He gave him food to drink. I mean, food to eat and water to drink. You know, God knew what he needed. And the same is true for us that God knows what we need. He's not interested in um, solving all of our wants and desires. He's not gonna be like a genie where we just ask God, I want this, I want that. But God is faithful to give us everything that we need. He's our Lord. He's our provider. He created us so He knows exactly what we need because life can get tough at times. You know, this world is full of heartache and pain and stress, and it can bring us to a breaking point at any point. But let me encourage you, do not let your breaking point distance you from God. In that moment of stress or, or that moment of darkness or pain, let me encourage you to cry out to God. Let Him draw near to you, and He will be faithful to give you exactly what you need and when you need it. He's so faithful. Don't you love him today? Let's go ahead and pray. God, we just thank you that you are in tune with our needs. God, you know exactly what we need. You know how we need it, and you know when we need it. And so, God, we cry out to you today. Maybe we're in a dark place. God, we ask that you would meet our needs. God, that you would be there with us, that you would provide for us, and that you would be with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> 